Navigating within the viewer involves moving and zooming in and out of your image. To pan in the viewer, press and hold down the space bar of your keyboard and left click. You can then move your mouse to navigate across the image. Alternatively, you can press the mouse scroll wheel or use your stylus to pan without having to left click. Now let's look at how you can zoom in on the image. You can hover over the zoom value, click and drag the mouse from left to right. Clicking on the magnifying glass icon reveals a list of preset zoom values. The 100% button on the right displays one pixel of your composition for one pixel of your screen. The mouse wheel can also be used in the viewer. Depending on the type of mouse you have, scrolling might be more or less smooth. To zoom in smoothly, you can use the shortcuts Ctrl, Alt, or Command, Alt on Mac, and left click while moving from left to right. The position of the cursor determines the point where you'll zoom in. If you aim at a specific area before zooming using Ctrl or Command Alt and left click, you'll zoom in and out from that point. The mouse wheel works the same way. Just point it in the direction of the area you want to zoom in on, then scroll up or down to zoom. To ensure you always view the entire composition, regardless of the size of the viewer panel, you can enable the Fit Viewport to Format option. This option, which can be toggled on or off, ensures that your entire composition or image is always visible, no matter the size of the viewer panel. Disabling this option won't resize your composition based on the size of the viewer panel. Autograph's shortcuts depend on the position of your cursor. You can activate or deactivate this option while hovering over the viewer by pressing the F key on your keyboard. In this video, we went over how to move and zoom within the viewer, use keyboard shortcuts, and activate the auto fit option.